Namaste beautiful beings, this is Linda Pearl and welcome to this weekly cosmic insight and so we are starting on a new journey at least it feels like the next couple of months Mars enters into retrograde as of today 9-9 nine, nine. and so 9 is very significant as a portal too it's like an ending of a cycle so something that needs to um, come to a standstill and broken down, transmuted, and then come back into a new potentiality, if that makes sense. And so we at this place to where Mars stations to go retrograde, which also is creating a square with that whole Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter conjunction going on up in Capricorn too, if you look at it from a, like the zodiac um, perspective of what's really going on in this world and these doorways that want to open up and let us almost like rush through because that's also Mars is in Aries is in his home place too and the last time that Mars was in retrograde was two years ago so 2018 so you can kind of look at and see what was going on in life and see like how what was your um, in a hero doing during that time too. What were you discovering about your personal self? And so this is time about personal self-discovery. So there's a lot going on cosmically, if you will. So I want to bring energy into a reading and see what the reading wishes to share with us, guidance, so we can see where we are in the world. And there's been a lot of guidance coming in this particular week too, just the stationing and this energy of the retrograde uh, pre-shadow has been felt all the way through, been feeling this through all the way from um, probably April, maybe even March, we've been feeling this, like getting ready to go into retrograde sensation of what it is that we need to really look deeply in. And so Mars comes out of retrograde in November 13th, which I think is also significant to 11, a doorway 13, this divine feminine. If you look at the zodiac again, um, it's this rebirthing of the divine feminine. We can see the storyline that wants to come out. So let's bring guidance into the cards and see how we can get a little bit of further guidance. And this guidance is always, for me, I always feel like it comes from a really high source. I don't particularly name the guidance or anything, a person, anything specific. Um, I allow myself to tune to what I feel is the most highest frequency. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff beyond that, if you will. But I really try tuning to this high channel. And so that I don't have to give it any kind of name or any kind of shape or form or anything like that. Knowing that the guidance that comes through is from this highest plane, if you will, for all of us. And so even the words that come through is a transmission for you. So as you hear these words, let us see what the energy does for you and for me. Um, so I can feel this coming through me already. So take a deep breath in. Breathe all the breath out. And we just say thank you so much for this crystal clear guidance. <laughs> One more breath. There we go. Remember this guidance is for you. So it says Archangel Metatron at the top. It says heaven and earth. And this card has definitely come up through the pandemic to this energy of being entangled. So there's this feeling of entanglement that we're still going on and we could actually feel like, if you will, this feels like a little bit of an unraveling of oneself, unraveling of like you're really pulling a sweater, I would say a jersey, if you're pulling out the wool and it's unraveling, like it's that sensation of this unraveling. It's kind of like a nice thing to do if you've ever knitted, you kind of pull it and it pops through these little loopy things. Yeah. So this feels like this piece of like an unraveling with inside of ourself. Metatron's is like great, like um, bringing like God's voice through to us so we can really listen to it. And so maybe that's why I was going on about the most high. It's because I sometimes feel that there's this voice of God that wishes to come through and be expressed through this medium. So that's why I don't really give it to any particular name, but you know, energy shows up in a certain form or way. And so it's this thing that's coming in to say, like, maybe our own inner raveling needs to come from us really going to our, what we call our highest form, our highest form within inside of us. So 
So this is just guiding us to come through. And it says heaven and earth. It's what we imagine heaven to be. Why does it have to be this separate place too? This is an old paradigm that we've learned on this planet through this old um, paradigm that we've been living on, this old reality that's crumbling before us. And there's a sensation again, the crumbling, the unraveling. So we're getting rid of this old paradigm with inside of us. So we can bring the sensation of heaven on earth. And that's this unification, this unifying, this energy too. So I feel this energy is coming through really strong. So we're going to take another card. Seems like we want to take it from the same deck. So let us see what card wishes to come through as crystal clear guidance. Take a deep breath in. Breathe all the breath out. And this is about, um, yeah, this, this is about prayer. So I've been doing the yoga nidra practices, if you will, for a long time, but I've been really focusing on them through this sort of pandemic time that we've been in, this sense of prayer that's coming through it and really sending my prayers to that place of almost like an unconscious state where my mind's not thinking about other things, but being in this place of stillness and actually before, Early on, I did the yoga nidra where I was guiding it. I stopped and I really got down on my knees and I prayed to, prayed to God and I was like asking for guidance, just the right guidance that is needed to squelch all my fears, which is this, this unraveling of oneself. There's a sense, and also when this card came out, it says sandal on the, on the card too, but I saw the card first and it reminded me of Archangel Raphael because of this color, this green. And earlier on, while I was doing the yoga nidra, the card, I should say afterwards, was the summertime, which was also this green and also had the circular feeling of this piece that we are in this place of unraveling ourselves from these old stories that we've tied ourselves into with other people, if you will. It's time for forgiving. So if we can find it in our heart, maybe that's what we need to ask for through prayer is forgiving. And it's prayer that also stems from unconditional love. There's a lot of soft thinking here too so it's really coming from your deepest heart your deepest heart that's wanting this forgiving through all of humanity not just through you and your life but it's all beings on this planet of living in unison of coming together so this energy is about us unraveling and maybe a mechanism is through prayer but it's really igniting with inside of us this compassionate heart space through this practice of forgiving and take another card and see what guidance wishes to bring through. Sometimes I have these funny little hiccups and um, they're not really hiccups, so it's hard to describe what they are. But when it happens, I always say, oh, here comes guidance. In fact, and I always feel like the back of my throat seems to change and the voice seems to be a little bit different. It feels like a different frequency. So when you do talk about voices or hearing or channeling, sometimes these voices don't necessarily have to sound so silly they can come through and talk in a certain way in this language that is audible and hearable and makes sense to our ears here on this plane, which is heaven on earth. And maybe it's the angels singing. Sometimes I think that the angels like to sing through. I like to see this. All the cards, are not, the two decks that I'm reading with are angel decks. So that's interesting too. So maybe there's this feeling of angelic form that wants to come through come through to help us with our healing, healing here on our planet, our beautiful planet. And it says, angel of clearing. So we tied up, so we need this. And there's this color of coming into this high, beautiful heart too. So this is where we are in our entanglement. This is our medicine, is our prayer to come back into a place of our heart. This is the clearing that we're needing and it's surrounding us in this love and it says, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. So all of this, so it's like a leading, we, we rebirthing, we've been reborn, we rising to, we have this ability to create this new humanity. I like to say the new earth. I have like a weird thing with like new world. It just has a weird feeling to it, like a weird vibration to it, but that's new earth, this new opportunity. Like new earth sounds like a new sea that wants to spring forward. And, um, this whole Aries, Mars, this is about the divine spark, the divine spark that you are that wants to rise up now and be in the space. 
this is for our healing. So we recognize our pains and our discomforts, even our unforgivenesses. We recognize them for what they are. And that's opportunity to lead ourselves away from this because this is a leading, but it takes time for prayer and really saying, you know, dear God, whatever, dear universe, dear angels, you know, help me, guide me, show me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for showing me. Maybe that's all we need to say is like, show me. I like to say that a lot. Just show me. Just show me and I'll do. I promise you I do. And that's what I say a lot too. This is my devotion is to say, just show me. And I promise you, I live in my heart to follow the guidance that is gifted to me. Because I know that the guidance gifted to me is a gift from myself. In fact, too. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of poetic. That's guidance too. Angel of clearing. So maybe we need to just clear our fields. Stand in our power. Maybe we need to stand in our nakedness before a mirror with our hands on the hips and claim our inner authority, our self-worth, our self-love. This is about self-loving. This is rising from a thing. This is taking charge of what it is that you truly wish for yourself. Opportunity. So we're moving down a passage where they showed us this guidance for healing. So in the middle here is our healing, which is this prayer. Prayer healing, just asking for, just saying thank you instead of asking, just saying thank you for the healing. I like to keep it simple. Say thank you for the love. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the healing. And just sit with that and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And then that it's done. And so that's what it feels like. It's done. So from my heart to yours, may you always be blessed. Namaste. And again, this is Glenda Pearl. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. You can find me at glendapearl.com. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.